I want to ask you a question, and that is, what is in your life's blueprint? This is the most important and crucial period of your lives. For what you do now and what you decide now at this age may well determine which way your life shall go. And whenever a building is constructed, you usually have an architect who draws a blueprint. And that blueprint serves as the pattern, as the guide, as a model for those who are to build the building. <laughs> and the building is not well erected without a good, sound, and solid blueprint. Now, each one of you is in the process of building the structure of your lives. And the question is whether you have a proper, solid, and a sound blueprint. And I want to suggest some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. Always feel that your life has ultimate significance. Now that means you should not be ashamed of your color. You know, it's very unfortunate that in so many instances, our society has placed a stigma on the Negro's color. You know, there are some Negroes who are ashamed of themselves. Don't be ashamed of your color and don't be ashamed of your biological features. Now in your life's blueprint, be sure that you have a principle of somebodiness. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have as the basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You are going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life work will be. And once you discover what it will be, set out to do it and to do it well. And I say to you, my young friends, that doors are opening to each of you. Doors of opportunity are opening to each of you that were not open to your mothers and your fathers. And the great challenge facing you is to be ready to enter those doors as they open. And so I would urge you to study hard, to burn the midnight oil. I would say to you, don't drop out of school. And I understand all of the sociological reasons why we often drop out of school. But I urge you, in spite of your socioeconomic plight, in spite of the situation that you are forced to live in so often in intolerable conditions, stay in school. Set out to do a good job and do that job so well that the living, the dead, and the unborn couldn't do it any better. If it falls to your lot to be a street sweeper, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures. Sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Leontine Price sings before the Metropolitan Opera. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will move to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper who swept his job well. If you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub on the side of the hill. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. And finally, in your life's blueprint must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty, love, and justice. Don't allow anybody to pull you so low as to make you hate them. Don't allow anybody to cause you to lose your self-respect to the point you do not struggle for justice. However young you are, you have a responsibility to seek to make your nation a better nation in which to live. Now, in the struggle for freedom and justice, there are many constructive things that we all can do and that we all must do. And we must not give ourselves to those things which will not solve our problems. And with a powerful commitment, I believe that we can transform dark yesterdays of injustice into bright tomorrows of justice and humanity. Let us keep going towards the goal of selfhood, towards the realization of the dream of brotherhood, and toward a realization of the dream of understanding and goodwill. Let nobody stop us. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. And if you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. 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 Keep moving.